Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys some of our favorite busy bag ideas for your toddlers and preschoolers. Okay guys, welcome back. If you're brand new to my channel, I am so glad you're here. I'm just a Christian homeschool, stay-at-home mama. I have six kiddos, one more on the way. And um, I wanna talk to you guys about some busy bag ideas. I talked in my last video about some of the ways that we have found in our home to be helpful while homeschooling with toddlers um, running around. And one of the min things I mentioned was busy bags. Some of you guys may not know what those are. You may have already done some Google or Pinterest searches and found some great ideas. So I wanna share with you guys some of the ones that we use in our home um, on a regular basis. Okay, you'll have to kind of excuse my hair is kind of a mess. We had our wild and free day today. We were outside. It is crazy hot here in Texas. It is um, August. And if you've ever been to Texas in August, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah, so there's that. That's kind of my disclaimer, I guess. So busy bags, what are they? They are just little um, activities. You store them in a baggie and they're for the kids that are um, either needing something to keep their hands busy or um, maybe they're too young for traditional formal schooling and you need to work with a bigger kid and you need them to have something to keep them busy um, or occupied. Um, we do use trays, I've talked about them a few times. I just get some trays you can use, um, like a cookie sheet, you can use um, any kind of tray. Uh, I'll show you the ones we've used. We use these, these are brand new this school year, but in the past I have used all kinds of things. The rainbow sorter that you guys may know about it's just a bunch of like bins um, and they're rainbow colored. Somebody gave us that years ago and I used that for a long time. But over time, they started falling apart. These are much more sturdy, so I will link them below if you're interested in something like this. But um, anyway, yeah, I just set them in the tray and with their little bag of whatever they're working on, and I leave it on the table and that is like their activity, okay? You can set these up also like as stations. You can have several around a table or you can set them up like maybe you want um, one to be fine motor, one to be um, something else, or maybe you want one to be gluing, one to be cutting, one to be coloring, whatever. Um, you can do all kinds of things. So um, anyway, I wanna get started and show you guys these because I have a whole bunch to share. Okay, early on in our homeschool years, when I had little bitties, we actually took a trip to the beach. I know we are crazy. We had little ones. We just had two kids at that time and we thought that was a lot. But I made up a bunch of busy bags actually for the car ride. And that is what some of these are still from that, um, that same vacation. I just restock them as needed. So the first one I have guys, this is just beads. These are actually alphabet beads, but you can use any kind of little tiny beads. Um, Pony beads, you obviously want to supervise if that is a child that is going to stick them in their mouth. But they fit so snug, snugly on these little pipe cleaners. So as you can see, they don't come off. They snugly fit on there and you can actually take it one step further and the kids can use it like a bracelet. I don't know if you can see that, okay? And then they can just like twist it around to make like a little bracelet. So you can make it like a craft idea or it can just be something that they work on. You could have them spell their name. Um, you can make little cards that have the letters you want them to go in order. Or if you get pony beads, you could do like a pattern, make little pattern cards for them. Or you can just do like I do and just let them enjoy, okay? So that's the first one I have. I have a similar one. This also works the same way. It is noodles. Okay, same idea, noodles. Um, these are actually, some of them are colored because I used them in a, like, a sensory bin that was pumpkin themed uh, years ago. So that's why you have little orange circles and green stems. But any kind of noodle like that with a hole in it will work. Okay, lacing cards. You can find these all the time in the, like, like at Dollar Tree or the dollar section. Um, I wouldn't really recommend making your own because they need to be pretty sturdy. But yeah, you just find them. This one in particular is I think from Melissa and Doug from one of their kits. And you just get a shoestring and the idea is that they go all the way around. It never happens that way. They go all over the place and that's okay because the idea is to keep it, um, have something to keep their hands busy, right? So some of these are 
there you go. There's one that probably one of my bigger kids did. Um, yeah, but the idea is to keep them busy. That's like a tractor that there's all kinds of sets, guys. You can find these seriously. You can find them everywhere. So I wouldn't really spend a lot. And that's kind of the goal too. These are not meant to be things that you're splurging on, just things to keep them busy. These, I don't know where the pin went, but um, these are a great, a great idea. You throw this whole book in a busy bag with the pin. It used to be like that. I'm not sure what happened. And you just fill it up with water and it's one of their activities. This will last forever um, as far as time goes. The books don't last forever, that's for sure. But you can use them multiple times. Here's one of our, uh, they, they love this one. This is just some little, um, well, I guess they're fat. They're like little grippers or little, I don't even know what you call those, little tweezer things. And you can get those. I actually got those at Dollar Tree. They come in red and blue. They're nice and chunky, but you can get them on Amazon or any of your other homeschool places. And I put little um, puff balls or I don't pom-poms, I guess, in a baggie and I give them something to put them in, okay? So I'll maybe give them an egg carton or um, something with a lot of little dividers like that, or I might just give them a couple cups. Um, even better, you can find cups that match these colors or little bowls. Um, I've done that and they kind of have to color sort them. You don't even have to tell them that because they'll probably do that naturally if those are the bowls you give them. But yeah, you just use this with something for them to put them in and they will play with that forever, or at least mine do. I guess I can't just speak for everyone's kids. Okay, so this is a fun one. They love this. You can do this with any kind of straw, but we always get these straws like it. They're at Dollar Tree and we always get them like at birthday parties or whatever. They're in the goodie bags. And I take them and I cut out some little felt pieces. This is just little random pieces of felt. And I just put a little slit um, like in each one, okay? And then they just like thread them on and go around and around and around. And they love that. They just love things that will keep their hands busy. So there is another one. Super easy. You can do these at home. Okay. Again, over the years, we have kind of collected all those little tiny tops. So when the kids get tops, I put them in these, this bag. And then sometimes I pull out the top bag and they love trying to play with all the different kinds of tops that we, um, that we have collected and you can get these and just start your own bag of collecting them over the years um this one's kind of cool this one was at walmart at christmas time well of course i'm gonna drop it right <laughs> all right guys so anyways a bag like this of tops along that same idea this one needs a bigger bag but i have a bag of magnets these are just all kinds of random magnets you can get these at garage sales or wherever dollar tree whatever and i give them again i told you i use these cookie sheets all the time give them a cookie sheet from dollar tree and a bag of magnets and they can create pictures you can go um one step further and like melissa and doug sells magnets that are themed okay so you could get those too there's like um, like a farm animal set and all the different ones. So you could get that too. You could also do one with little cards where maybe you've got their name and you give them the ABC magnets and they have to try to make their name. That would be another one, especially if they're a little bit bigger, almost to kindergarten. That would be perfect for them. Okay, this one is just paper and stickers, just random stickers and some sheets of paper and they can just go crazy. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason here. It's just whatever things we happened to collect, mostly from garage sales and it's all in one bag. And usually I will give them one sticker sheet. I won't give them this whole thing and one piece of paper and then they can just stick the, the stickers on the paper. Okay the i spy bags love the i spy bags there's a couple here that you can do so i went ahead and brought out a couple of different versions i made this one in like a parmesan cheese container years ago when my oldest she's 10 now when she was probably two i think 
make sure you glue the top there guys you don't want them to open on this top in particular has lots of openings so you want to glue all of those but um, anyway I just found tiny things around the house it takes takes a little time to prep it and to find the little things and then I took a picture of everything that was in there okay I don't know if you can see okay I took a picture of everything that was in there what I included and I laminated it so that they could use a dry erase, like when they get bigger, to um, mark them off and to kind of help them find what they need to look for in that particular one, because they're all different. And then I stick that in there and it's an I Spy bag, okay? You can also do these like this, okay? This one is like one of those clear plastic things that you would put like your supplies in, like in a binder. See, and it's got the holes and same thing. I glued across here, You can, I don't know if you can tell, I glued the zipper so that you can't actually open it. And I just use hot glue or super glue, something like that. And it's got rice and then all the little things inside. In their bag, they've got their little card and their marker. Here's some things that we included in it if you wanna kinda get some ideas. And then they take a bag and they try to find the things inside, see how many they can find. Okay, similar with the magnets and with the tops, I am making, currently it's not got very many, I'm making a mazes bag. So all those little teeny tiny mazes that come in like the goodie bags or whatever, um, I'm putting them all in one bag. And this is a busy bag full of mazes for them to enjoy. All right, this one is kind of fun. You do need to get tweezers with this one. So the little tweezers that I showed you a minute ago with my puff balls, you would use that with this one. I made it really cute. It's a little frog, but you don't have to do that. Um, that's just a piece of pink felt and then two green puff balls with eyeballs on them and they're all glued on there, but it's a frog. And the idea is I would dump these into their bin and I would provide them with the frog. I put the lid back on and their goal is to use their little their little tweezers where i put them who knows here we go they would use their little tweezers to collect one of the spiders these are just the little spider rings that they have like at walmart at halloween time or whatever and they gotta stick them in feed the froggy okay this you could take one step further and have like maybe number cards and maybe the froggy needs to eat three spiders or maybe he needs to eat um, four black spiders, whatever. But for now, I just keep it like this and it's just feed the frog. <laughs> this is one that I just found it on clearance actually. It's a toy, but you can actually find fun toys that you can turn into busy bags. This is a toy. It was full of... Um, little dinosaurs and they were like lacing dinosaurs they all had a hole in them see and it came with a shoestring and the idea is that they thread the dinosaur onto the string like this can you see him he's just wanting to face me there you go anyway and they can thread all the dinosaurs onto the string um i've seen those sets like at walmart um i've seen farm animals and different ones zoo animals but we got the dinosaur version so there you go. Okay, this is one that takes a little bit more prep work. Um, I printed out this paper. It says land, water, air. It has three lines. And I just created this on my own. And then um, I printed some animals to go with it. And I laminated all of this. But the idea is that they lay this down on their tray. And then they have to decide, does the dolphin go in land? water or air where does he belong so it's just a fun activity for them to work on and that is a perfect little busy bag idea keep them busy okay this last one i'm going to share with you guys is my boy's favorite i sent my husband to the store his goal or his job was to buy a whole bunch of these a whole bunch of little bolts okay and he had to buy a bunch of what are these called washers mm, no what are these called i don't know yeah whatever these are called <laughs> nuts that's what they're called right 
So he had to buy a bunch of bolts and nuts and I just give them to them and they're all mixed together, but they have to decide, okay, that doesn't fit. Um, oh, that doesn't fit. And they kind of have to match them up like a puzzle. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, and screw them together. Uh, I put them all just in one big baggie and it's just kind of a, um, just kind of a puzzle, I guess. A fine motor puzzle for them. Okay, guys, as you are looking for new busy bag ideas, um, you will start seeing things around your own house that you're thinking, oh, that could be a busy bag and that could be a busy bag. Um, because once you get started, it feels like you cannot stop. I take all of these busy bags, I store them just in a bin, um, in our school supply stuff. And sometimes I say, just go choose a busy bag, like if we're busy, or sometimes I've prepared ahead of time and I already have them picked out which ones I want them to do. Anyways, I hope this uh, gives you guys some great ideas for entertaining your toddlers and your preschoolers during homeschool time. Um, the busy bags are one of our favorites and I hope that they will be one of your favorites as well. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this um, channel and like our videos, share them and find us on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to connect. I'll see you guys next time.